All right. So this is um, another video. Uh, number one, thank you for the people that have contacted me, telling me that um, you know I need to improve uh, improve a little bit uh, some videos because I move uh, the the camera too much or whatever. So I'm trying to make this one still. I don't know if it will work better, but I hope it does. So thank you for being honest. Um, secondly, well, uh, you have my email down below in case that you need to contact me for something private or if you want to um, send me an Amazon gift card, which is the, the way to support uh, this channel or me because uh, I'm not monetizing the channel. I have a lot of um, issues with that. So anyway, um, also, if you, uh, if you have some comments, um, it will be best if you put it in the comments because that way I can get to them faster because, you know, quite frankly, is um, it's a little bit, uh, I don't check the email quite, quite often. Now, uh, oh my God, the garbage truck is here. Um, I'll be back. Okay. So anyway, I get a lot of questions, um, you know, from people, mostly about what to buy. Um, quite frankly, when I get that question, I, I can make you a list, but it is not going to be what, uh, what you may actually want to buy. The main reason for that is you know, um, several things. When I do a list for general, my shopping list, um, I try to get things that are in the US, but if you are outside the US, like for Canada, for example, I don't know if you can get the same things. And also, I don't know if the things that I am mentioning are going to work in a climate that is not for that. So, having said that, I'm going to say something else. I live in a city. I live in a house. I have a daughter. And I live uh, with my mother. You know, because during this quarantine, I ended up being, being with my mother and my daughter. Also, I have a, a few friends in here as well, but um, anyway, point being, my situation is different from someone who is in a countryside. And also my situation is different if the guy or the girl lives in another cities, because quite frankly, um, bad situations like hyperinflation will affect different cities in different ways. I'm going to tell you right now, right off the bat, that across the US, hyperinflation is not going to be the same in New York versus Florida. And that is not going to be the same as in California or even Washington. And you're thinking the economy is going to be the same or whatever. Oh, hell no, it's not going to be the same. And if you're thinking, oh, hell, that if there is hyperinflation in the U.S., it's going to be the same in Canada. Oh, hell no. And if you're thinking this is going to affect the same way in Canada, uh, whether you live in the east, east part or west part, oh, hell no. I'm sorry to tell you, but hell no. So, no, I guess it, it's better to... Um, try to get to know um, the general specifics of certain things for your city according to um, how, how much population there is in the place that you live. And um, also there are other factors that you might want to consider later on, you know, that people are not thinking about because they're thinking that it's going to be the same and it is not. Also, um, also, by the way, um, my family situation is not the same as 
people that are, for example, living in an apartment. They might have other uh, things that they need to get to the property, which is different. So first of all, you got to determine where you are, you know, geographically speaking. Second, you got to determine where you are inside your geographical area. Are you in a bad neighborhood? Are you in a good neighborhood? Are you in a house? Are you in an apartment? Are you, are you in, in a farm? Are you, you know, are you near a mall? Are you very far away from a mall? I mean, there are so many things that you need to consider when getting a list for preparations that, that you, don't, you don't realize it until things bad happen. So having said that, then the third aspect that you need to consider is, are you alone? Are you with a couple? Are you um, with a lot of family? Do you have pets? Do you have kids? And, um, you know, do you have uh, close neighbors that might be considered family? Because when you're having an emergency, I can tell you right now, with kids, oh, hell, you have no idea what it's like to have an emergency with kids. No, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about having to go to the, to the doctor's and three in the morning because a fever won't come down. No, no, I'm not talking about those kind of emergencies. Those are personal emergencies. I'm talking about um, situations that are um, extreme, like the house is on fire and you're with the kid, kind of like that, which, by the way, that have happened to me. And, um, you know, you, it's, um, it's also very important to understand that a, a woman's perspective is not going to be the same of a man's perspective. So if you're going to make a list of the things that you want to get or whatever, you want to get the people that are with you involved in that list. And um, the reason is because your teenage boy or girl is not going to uh, be in in a very good place with you if you decide to for example evacuate and they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that they do not want to leave behind or if you decide to get a new toy for your kid and throw away the old one oh that might be a battle that you do not want to face because there are certain things for kids that uh, they think about it differently. And if you are a man and you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to, uh, you know, tell everybody what we're doing. Oh, hell. You are probably going to be in for a very good surprise because unless the woman is a complete slave, um, she's probably going to, you know, fight you if she doesn't know what the hell. She might be, she might trust you and she might love you and she might be, you know, the best woman in the whole planet. But if she, if she doesn't get what you're doing, then she's probably going to ask you a lot of questions and she's going to be on your way. The main reason for that is because, um, biologically speaking, there is an instinct for women to try to get a sense of normalcy. And let me explain to you this just for a moment so that you can try to get my point. We have an, we had an earthquake about, I don't know, two years ago or something like that. So as you probably know, in Venezuela, there are not a lot of earthquakes. We are not used to them. We are not Japan. So basically, most people panicked and here is just Going, I'm going to tell you right now how women reacted versus how men, men reacted. When, when they were in the building, I can tell you right now. So the earthquakes, people in the building, like I was saying, um, women reacted quite different than men. Women were running to get the kids and guess what? They were also running around in the apartments to get the kids' toys and the pets. Oh, hell yeah. 
That's how women are. Have you ever seen the episode in The Simpsons when the house was on fire and Marge actually came back to try to clean the dishes? Oh hell, that is how we are. <laughs> and I'm sorry because it sounds stupid and it's actually, you know, not very good at it, but... And I am not saying that to make fun of women because I am a woman. But I'm going to tell you right now that that is kind of how we are wired. We are wired to try to be, to try to act normal and try to hide if we have troubles, especially when we, when we have kids. Because if we're going to protect the kids, we know that kids, if you push them to run, oh hell, have you ever tried that? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care if it is a boy or a girl. If it is a five-year-old or a four-year-old or a two-year-old, oh hell, those are the worst. I can tell you right now that they will kick you. They will hit you. They will scream like hell, like really hell. They will do whatever the hell it takes from, from them to stop you from moving them if you don't have their favorite toy in their hands. And if you're running away and you do not have your pet with you, they are going to cry and hit you and they won't talk to you and they will, have, they will be traumatized if you don't have the pet with you because you left your family. And if you left your family, they are, going to be keep, they are going to be thinking that you, you are going to leave them. Just like you left your pet, they are going to consider that you are going to leave them. And they are going to lash out and they are going to be as hell. So that's something that men probably do not consider. That's why women, we, usually when there is an emergency, we try to get the pet, we try to get the freaking toys, and we try to get the, the children, you know. And when we're doing that, we forget about the kids. Oh, hell yeah. You know, when, when people went downstairs in the building and everything, I met at least three women who were calling their, their sons and their family members like, do you have an extra key for my house? Because, you know, I accidentally knocked myself, you know, uh, knocked myself out. Like, you know, locked myself out. Like, really. They just, they ran and they didn't get the keys. My mother runs. She, gets, she got my daughter and she was pushing me. I was trying to get the freaking keys and I was trying to get the freaking shoes, but my mother was running barefoot and most of the women were running barefoot. So, hell, I am just, I am telling you right now that this is serious, you know. So, when you are going to buy things and you're making a list, you definitely want to consider uh, including everybody, as in involve them. Because just like the women's priority is going to get the kids, the teen's priority is going to get their friends. And the men's priority is going to get everyone and, you know, just a few things and maybe not even get the family photos, they won't care, but some women will. So when you are making a shopping list, an evacuation list, when you're making a maintenance list, and when you're making any kind of list that involves you spending money or time, you need to involve your family. You know, and uh, you need to determine your own needs, which are going to be completely different than what you think. If you're thinking as a guy that, all you need is weapons. Oh, hell. No, 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 you don't. You probably will need more detergent to do the laundry for the kids than the weapons. Because what the hell are you going to do with the weapons if the kids are, you know, dirty and then they get rashes all over their skin and then they get sick and then they die. So, no. You probably will need more laundry detergent. So... What I'm trying to tell you is that the list that you're going to make, you need to include at least two people that are going to get together and have their different opinions because they're going to differ 
and then you come to an arrangement of what the hell is your priority. Because your priority, like I said, is not going to be the same as your teenage boys. And they are not going to be the same as your kids. So you need to come up with your own circumstances and then you make a list. Then you make uh, your budget. You know, and also, um, I can tell you right now that we women probably need more money than men because we have things that to buy that men do not have to buy, like sanitary napkins, like makeup and things like that. And you probably don't need as much things as we women do need. 